How can student work be effectively gathered and graded during EL? Experiential learning activities are often more variable and open-ended than traditional classroom assessments. This makes it important to carefully plan for how students will be assessed as part of their work. Assessments should allow students to demonstrate that they have achieved the outcomes for their specific EL and offer opportunities to both reflect on and demonstrate a variety of newly acquired knowledge and skills. Planning for some of the practical details of how to assess students can help develop processes and tools that will make assessments simpler for those who are administering and grading. Considering how students will be assigned work, how that work will be collected, and the ways that feedback can be provided to students are all important components of preparing EL assessments. This consideration will also ensure that the assessments are clear and consistent for the students completing the work. This section of the module is focused on building out a plan and identifying tools and processes to gather and grade evidence of student learning for a range of EL opportunities. And then in the classroom, they were taught concepts of civic engagement and community participation, volunteering, and so on. Uh, so it was a challenge to think about how to integrate those two forms of learning, classroom learning experiential learning. So there were a few ways we attempted to help students make the connection, or build the bridge between out of the classroom and uh, classroom learning. Primarily, reflection was the process that helped do that. And so there were at least three forms of reflection in the course. On the other end of it, when I'm evaluating performance, I, rather than grading an extra exam question on more content that might have been in those classes, or grading an assignment, uh, a hand-in or, or a um, case assignment uh, that could have um, been about a general topic rather than about simulation, I'm grading grade elements on this and I'm allowing the students to express themselves differently. Um, I can go into the different grade elements of this assignment, um, which include, as I said, performance is a small part of it. Uh, there is a status report, which is a slide deck, not a presentation, but a slide deck that is handed in and read. Um, I do this because this is the dominant form of communication nowadays in business. And it's not used that often in business school, and it's important that students start to see, hey, how can I communicate using this format rather than the typical Word document, 20-page paper that no one will ever read other than your professor. In terms of assessment, uh, certainly I designed the assignments with this option to participate in community service in mind. So. Uh, uh, when I have, for example, a report that's due in the class, if students decide to engage in something in a community service focused way that's experiential, the, um, then the grade would be the, the same as if I was grading a report for, from a group that didn't engage in that. In terms of reflection though, students always reflect and that's always a graded piece at the end of term based on their experience or their experiential learning uh, moments. And that'll often be a blog or might be a wiki. And uh, certainly the writing style and meeting the expectations of audience and context for the writing style comes into the grading there. And those, of course, are related to the outcomes of the course.